What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you who missed the iOS 12.4 signing window and are now on iOS 12.4.1 waiting for a jailbreak. The FP0 exploit for 12.4.1 has been achieved and of course will be released by a security company called Zekaps. They posted yesterday, quote, free the sandbox update if you missed the iOS 12.4 signing window and wish to investigate or analyze your device, keep it on 12.4.1. We plan to release LPE, which is basically local privilege escalation, granting TFP0 to enable iOS DFIR investigations. The bug can also be used as a jailbreak for those who are interested. So as you can see, this is not just a sandbox escape or a small kernel bug. This is actually TFP0 exploit. So it's basically just plug and play for the majority of the devices on iOS 12.4.1. The iOS 13 may have differences. And of course, even if we get TFP0, we still need to figure out a couple of things. But uh, the iOS 12.4.1 doesn't have major changes. In fact, the only thing that changed between iOS 12.4 and 12.4.1 is that the kernel of the iOS 12.4.1 has the bug from 12.4 patched. So once this exploit gets released, we would be able to release an iOS 12.4.1 jailbreak for the majority of the devices. The A12 devices might have some issues, but I hope that by that time when this gets released, Pawn might have figured how to fix the uh, A12 devices in order to have a proper jailbreak in there. So Uncover can indeed be updated at that point for all the available devices. So that would basically mean a very, very quick jailbreak once this is released. So if you're running iOS 12.4.1, which is currently the latest version available, of course, if you're interested in jailbreaking, do not update iOS 13 when it comes out. Stay on iOS 12.4.1 because iOS 12.4.1 is actually the best version to stay on for for the moment if you missed the iOS 12.4 signing window. But when can we expect this exploit? Well, it's currently zero day, which means that not even Apple knows about it. This security company here apparently found it. So they said, quote, ATA depends on many things, including if we observe active exploitation in the wild. So currently unknown, but probably within a few months. Now, of course, even though it's going to take a few months for this to be released, iOS 13 will be released quicker. So as I said, if you're planning to jailbreak your device, do not update iOS 13 when it comes out. Of course, there will be a quick window when iOS 12.4.1 will still be signed, even after iOS 13 gets released, but that's probably not going to last for so long because they already have iOS 13.1 in beta. So once iOS 13 and 13.1 gets released, iOS 12.4.1 will probably be closed. And that will happen actually much quicker than you expect because iOS 13.1, as I said, is already in beta. So both iOS 13 and iOS 13.1 will be released kind of in the same month. So I do believe that iOS 12.4.1 isn't going to be long lived. So yeah, stay on iOS 12.4.1 and save the blobs. There is a TFP0 exploit guaranteed to be released and that's basically all we need for a jailbreak. A TFP0 exploit can simply be plugged in any of the available jailbreaks and that would update them effortlessly to the iOS 12.4.1. So once this is released, you can expect a jailbreak for iOS 12.4.1 in literally a day if pawn is quick or at most two or three days. So definitely nice. So stay on 12.4.1. Thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow and until next time, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.